bitch can't even swim. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Get back! Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Barr can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... I got you knew all along. And she trusted me anyway.
shit better work. throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Seems a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bosey motherfucker. Good news. It's over now. The city's safe. strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe.
don't. The city needs that vaccine. More than I do. I don't think wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting true. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat up. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You think money. I like money. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! This would be worth millions. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Good riddance. Oh no. You're not going to stop. Promise to this, didn't you? Oh, no! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to drop. Ten minutes until missile impact. Ah, the missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Shoot him! I can't! 
I'll hit you. Do it! You have to! There's no other way. Carlos! Hey, I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. Tag for everything, even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? I'll tell you if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool. If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective. and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human. 